yes, um, bear with me a second. Uh, yes, um, good evening. Um, I would like to welcome Julia Stuckey. Actually, I've, I've sent an email. You may not have got my email either, um, but um, I would like to wish you luck as um, town clerk. Um, just starting briefly with that last subject, I would like to know how the town council is going to actually publicise um, the halls reopening and the booking process to residents who don't come to these meetings virtually um, and haven't been. Um, because they want to attend in halls. Uh, there obviously needs to be some sort of um, publicity campaign to make sure that people are aware of it. Um, you know, posting on social media, making sure that it goes in the North Somerset Times, that's um, crucial. Um, so turning to the items that are on my list, uh, the other one relates to the uh, annual residence meeting, which is the Porter's Head Residence Annual Meeting, otherwise known as PRAM. It is really important having the, 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 the sort of meeting titled in the correct way. This was the title that was decided on by the public at one of the uh, previous uh, Portishead Residence Annual Meetings. And it's really important that that title is correct. It saves any confusion with regard to the annual town council meeting. Uh, so I would like that corrected on the website and in any uh, publicity material, please. Um, with regard to the item for North Western Hall, I would like to just emphasise before the discussion tonight that we are talking about the pathway that leads from the zebra crossing um, opposite the hall into the car park, not the car park itself. And as Bob Cartwright acknowledged last time at the last meeting, um, it is very, very dark. Um, so it, it must not be confused with the actual car park itself. And we're talking here about making sure it's safe, not just for people with um, perfect eyesight, but for those who wear glasses, who may be visually impaired, um, it is a really important place to make safe. Um, I would also like to know when the halls are going to be reopened. I know Julia Strickley has actually um, referred to that and making sure your IT is up and ready. Um, but it's obviously very important with regard to classes as well as council meetings um, that um, it's very important we, we find out when those halls are going to be reopened. I, uh, alongside Paul Maltby, believe that you should have actually had that in place by now. There was plenty of warning about the date. On um, item 11 tonight regarding play parks, um, I am intrigued as to why the town council owned play park at below Brary Bank that is at the top of the land that is owned by North Somerset Council. So I'm talking about the town council owned land, it used to be called Slade Road um, play area. That never gets discussed at these meetings and I would like to know what the town council's plan was for that particular piece of land, whether it's going to be left for conservation or whether you're going to remake it into a, um, a play area or whether you're indeed thinking about selling it to North Somerset Council. I would like to know the answer to that. And um, then finally, I wonder, Ben, whether you could confirm, please, um, having seen the false information which we raised at previous meeting regarding the Portstead Independent Party social media page with regard to the discussions about Town Council having uh, discussions about leasing or buying land at Merlin Park for a BMX pump track. We obviously now know it was nothing to do with the Town Council, it hasn't been discussed, but I'd like to know, Ben, um, whether it's true that you've actually um, had conversations with North Somerset Council on it, and when it's going to be tabled for an agenda item. I think there are a lot of people very intrigued about that and, and pleased that it's going to perhaps be on the um, Town Council sort of website and, uh, and for, uh, for discussion, but um, we don't know anything more apart from the fact that the wording that went on the political page was incorrect um, but any information you can give us on that would be very much appreciated thank you thank you Annette I'll come back to your last question in a second I do have the answer to that from me anyway uh, Julia your hand popped up as well 